The new president of the National Farmers Federation is rejecting claims he's against renewable energy projects. David Johinke says more than anything, farmers just want a seat at the table. It's the fight for our future, food and fibre security and renewable energy. Yeah, I don't think there's a hotter topic at the moment than what's happening to farmland, especially in the renewable place space. In Victoria, 570 hectares of prime farming land at Meadow Creek could be transformed into a solar farm. At 330 megawatts, the proposed project would be one of the largest in Australia. It's prompted State One Nation MP Ricky Lee Tyrrell to put forward an amendment to the Planning and Environment Act. The bill would mandate soil and waterway protections when considering solar generation facilities. I'm not going to entertain a bill from One Nation here that even the farmers have said is um, a bill that is unnecessary. In a statement to Sky News, Ricky Lee Tyrrell says, I am unsure how many farms Ms Kilkenny has in her electorate of Carrum, but I am a farmer, I am married to a farmer, and I know these projects are not suitable to be built on prime agricultural land. And it's really a question for the National Farmers Federation president to explain why he's wanting to uh, support something that's coming from one nation of all places. David Johinke says the state government has got its wires crossed. Our official position is we're not supporting the, that. And if the Premier wants to ring me, I'm more than happy to talk to her, noting too that I am a supporter of renewables and also want to have climate action. As the country works towards ambitious renewable energy targets, the debate around where these projects will go will only intensify. Mr Johinke says farmers aren't anti-renewable, they just want a seat at the table. And the pendulum um, needs to go to a position where farmers and their operations are considered early. They are able to be a part of the planning process, not about a refining process. The National Farmers Federation also wants governments and corporations to look beyond private land. It shouldn't just be all on, on private land. I think the public's also got a part to play with this. Georgia Simpson, Sky News.